Good day everyone. Today we are considering another important topic in economics and the title is Theory of Price Determination. Theory of Price Determination. Under this topic we have some subtopics under it. One of them is the concept of the market, demand and supply. Second, price determination under free market economy. Third, equilibrium price and quantity in product and factor markets. Let's get started by having a definition of price determination. The theory of price determination also is referred to as price theory. It is a principle that uses the concept of supply and demand to determine the appropriate price point for a given goods or services. Now, the concept of market demand and supply. What are the major concepts? In this market these two major concepts are demand and supply and we have to understand them what is supply supply shows how much the producer of a product or services is willing to produce why demand is how much of that product or services the buyer desire to have from the market so we can easily conclude that demand and supply play a very critical role in the determination of price of goods and services, particularly in a free market economy. Price determination under free market economy. How is price being determined in free market economy? First of all, in free market economy, government do not have any interference. Government does not determine the quantity or the pricing system in that market system economy. Determination of price means to determine the cost of goods sold and the service rendered in free market economy. And also, in free market economy, price of commodities and services are determined by the interaction or the forces of demand and supply, as you can see in a, a graph for the right. Equilibrium price and quantity in product and factor markets. What is equilibrium? What is products and factor markets? Equilibrium simply means the quality between demand and supply. Equality. Then what is factor market? Factor market is a market where the factors of production, that is land, labor, capital, is being bought and sold. Then product market is a market where products like goods and services is being bought and sold. Now. Equilibrium price or core, where the demand for a product or services is equal to the supply of the products. At equilibrium, both consumer and producers are satisfied, thereby keeping the price of the product or the services very, very stable. From the graph, we can see a clearing point where the quantity supply amount to the price. So this clearing point in economies is called equilibrium point. Now what have we studied so far? We have studied our price determination under free market economy. We have also studied equilibrium price and quantity in product and factor markets. Where we mentioned that equilibrium price occurs where the demand for a product or services equals to the supply. Now before we go I would like to drop this assignment and I would like if you attempt it. The question is, the assignment is, if equilibrium does not occur between supply and demand, what factors might have been responsible for this? This is the end of today's class. Bye for now.